Well, I don't even realize it's like Christmas time. <laughs> Merry Christmas! Good morning. Yes, I found the bells. I remembered this morning. You guys only had to remind me. Let's see, today's the 11th. You only had to remind me for 11 days. Well, 10. <laughs> Oh, man, we are so freaking tired. I, by the end of every day, I'm we're just whooped. I have gone up and down our stairs carrying more stuff, more trips up and down the stairs. And at the end of every day, I have to lay on our floor and stretch out my lower back and sciatic pain. Yeah, it does not feel like Christmas for sure. Um, I mean, we're not decorating and... Um, the only thing I'm going to do with our Christmas decorations is they're up in our eaves in storage and I have to take them out and literally unpack everything from the totes, get rid of half the stuff that we don't use and repack it for moving. So yay, we're getting down to the hard stuff. We've got to do the attic. We've got to do the basement. We got to do the barn. We got to do the garage. Blah. So, uh, your dogs are eating poop and dirt. You're giving digestive enzymes not working. Uh, that could also be an iron deficiency. So, I would check a stool sample for sure um, to, to uh, make sure that you don't have any uh, hookworms or other parasites that could be causing that. Uh, Hugh's forehead biopsy, it was squamous cell carcinoma, but they got clean margins. Um, so, working off all those baked goods. Yeah, I haven't even had time to bake. There are no baked goods. My poor mom hasn't had cookies in couple weeks so um it's it's brutal as you age yeah you could just say it's brutal at your age <laughs> at my age it is it's brutal for all of us but um anyway we're weeding out so uh something came up in a consultation that i was doing yesterday that i thought i should uh just mention for everyone um uh when you are choosing supplements for your dogs or cats, make sure you look at all the ingredients. Um, holistic veterinarians don't necessarily always look at the ingredients either uh, to, um, to really weed out what is good and bad. Um, so we were looking at a line of supplements yesterday that was recommended by a holistic veterinarian and the herbal part of the supplements was excellent. Um, but because they were formulated in a soft chew, uh, anything formulated as a soft chew uh, has to have humectants and things to keep them as a soft chew. So you get chemicals added in there to keep them um, from crumbling and falling apart or from drying out uh, and to get them to stick together. They also usually have some sort of sugar and flavor enhancers in them. So you'll see maltodextrin, which is also used as a um, as a preservative. You'll see polysorbate in there. Um, and if you look at that line of supplements from the company and you look at their powdered products because that just stays in a powder and doesn't have to stick into that nice little soft chew and doesn't necessarily have to taste as good because it's going to be mixed in with food. Um, a lot of times the powdered supplements will be better. Um, so, but for those of you with pets with allergies, uh, you have to also um, pay attention to what flavorings are in there. Uh, for instance, desiccated beef liver. Well, it's a great ingredient because liver is, is awesome for our pets. But if you have a pet that has a beef allergy, you don't want desiccated beef liver in there. If you have a pet with a chicken allergy, you don't want to have uh, chicken as the... Um, the ingredient that's being used to make it uh, taste good. So you, you have to read all the way through the ingredient list. And um, while it is very nice to be able to hand our dogs and cats a soft chew or treat that has, um, you know, the desired 
medication or uh, supplement uh, in it, you have to make sure that there's not something else in there that is going to cause a problem for them. So going to be in the 50s today in upstate New York. That's awesome. It's going to be close to 60 here. So uh, we're looking at the weekend um, for getting out in the barn and getting out in the garage and collecting up all of our little garden decor. We've got more little metallic garden ornaments. Art. Art. Yeah, we've just collected them over the years, and I love gardening, so we've got a bunch. Um, um, somebody says suggestions, but I didn't see what the original question was. Your doxy is very scent-driven. If they don't like the smell of it, they, it just won't work. Yeah, exactly. Um, uh, okay. Um, uh, but, but, but how are the dogs adjusting to all the moving? I don't think they have a clue right now. They just follow us around the house. The cats are a little... The cats are more wigged out. Yeah. Uh, Stewie's pretty funny because he follows me everywhere. So he's up and down the stairs all day too. And Gabby would follow me, but she can't do the stairs. And I'm not carrying her up and down every time I go up and down. That's just crazy. <laughs> so... <laughs> Uh, giving two PEA two times a day to 14 year old golden rear end weakness and deafness continue with two times two or reduce the dose at some point. I'd probably continue the two and two, um, for a dog that size. So, uh, pace yourselves, man, we're, we're getting down to crunch time. Uh, they're picking everything up January 6th and we're going to be gone for a week for Christmas. So, um, we're at crunch time. Like I'm, we're counting out the days of dog food in the freezer. We're counting out the days of people food in the freezer uh, because when we go down at Christmas time, we want to take a load um, with us. Kristen says, we did a cranberry, rosemary, fresh ginger grind to take the place of the chews. Sunny loves it. That's awesome. Yeah, so that's the other thing. You can look at the herbs that are in the the, the supplement that you want to use or the chew that you want to use and make it yourself. So Kristen is the one uh, where we were talking about this yesterday during her consultation. And so there were a couple things that we needed to help the dog with. And I said, well, let's just get fresh stuff and add it in there. Um, so that's great. She's already on it. Uh, what treats hookworms? Your two dogs eat poop. Uh, usually use something like Parantel. I mean, you could use a diatomaceous earth, something like that. But for instance, George, uh, Scout, when he came to us, he had hookworms and he was a huge dirt eater. And he would, uh, even though we got rid of his parasites, um, he, a couple times a year, he would go through bouts where he literally would go out and just huge clumps of dirt out of the flower pots. And, um, I would put him on a B vitamin and iron supplement every time he would do that. And it would solve his problem. And I don't know why he would periodically get anemic. Um, but he would. And uh, he was also our guy that was prone to pancreatitis. So he got lower fat meals, didn't get as much beef. He got more poultry. And so that could have been part of it as well. Um, but, uh, you know, so George gets a B vitamin and iron supplement right now because he was anemic. Uh, my mom's dog was anemic, so she was on it. Uh, and it definitely helps. So, okay. Uh, I'm going to get you some music to get us back out of here. Do, 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 do. Come here, music. Yes, I did remind supporters that we are at, I think it's 630. I posted? I think so. There we go. You get more bells. Dogs eat dirt terribly. Yeah, I would try a B vitamin and iron supplement or more... Uh... No, Judy Hurley. Definitely should not. Lydia Lou, I might, I would say no to that. Patricia Willis for glucosamine, we use our deer antler and greenlet muscle, natural source of glucosamine, chondroitin, and hyaluronic acid. Oh, I did say seven? Okay, whatever. Whatever I posted. 
I'll check before I sign on. <laughs> wow, Teresa, that's awesome. <laughs> See you guys. Yeah.